The cerebellum is the second largest part of the brain, and obviously it needs to be connected to the other regions of the brain. Note in these stills, axons have stained black. Note that there are black tracks of axons connecting the cerebellum to other regions of the brain. The cerebellum attaches through three pairs of structures known as cerebellar peduncles. These superior cerebellar peduncles connect the cerebellum to the midbrain. They can be observed just caudal to the inferior colliculi of the midbrain. The middle cerebellar peduncles connect the pons to the cerebellum, and they are easily seen both on the ventral view of the pons and also on the lateral view where the pons meets the cerebellum. And there are inferior cerebellar peduncles connecting the medulla to the cerebellum. They form the lateral border of the fourth ventricle. And so in a mid-sagittal section, one can observe the fourth ventricle. The cerebellar peduncles form the wall of this. The superior cerebellar peduncles connect the cerebellum to the midbrain. It contains mostly efferent fibers, outgoing fibers, and thus most of the signals leaving the cerebellum travel through the superior cerebellar peduncles. The various tracts are named for the deep cerebellar nuclei where they originate. So for example, the dentate nucleus is the origin for the, the dentato rubrothalamic tract originating in the dentate nucleus of the cerebellum and then projecting to the red nucleus and the thalamus. There are also afferent fibers which enter the cerebellum through the superior cerebellar peduncles, such as the ventral spinocerebellar tract. As one studies the brains of mammals, where the cerebrum and cerebellum are both larger, in primates where they are larger still, and then in humans where they are larger still. The cerebrum, which became the largest part of the brain, needed to send messages to the cerebellum. And so the middle cerebellar peduncles are only afferent with fibers entering the cerebellum from the pons. The inferior cerebellar peduncles connect the medulla to the cerebellum. These fibers are primarily afferent, incoming fibers, such as the dorsospinocerebellar tract, bringing in information from proprioceptors, and then others coming from nuclei of the medulla, such as the olivocerebellar tract, coming from the olive nucleus. So in these images, the olive nucleus of the medulla is the source of afferent fibers, which then enter the cerebellum through the inferior cerebellar peduncles.